Navia has done has deployed 30 vehicles last year worldwide. We are on every continent. We're in Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Taiwan, uh, France, Switzerland, and Germany. We expect to be soon in the UK. We've carried more than 100,000 people last year, and we've done more than 50,000 kilometers. All the people we carried are still alive. We have their phone number. We'll be able to contact them. It's a first mile and last mile solution, fully electric, fully driverless, so no infrastructure requested. Uh, the demonstration we are doing today at Heathrow Airport is around 600 meters long. We came with the vehicle on Sunday and uh, we uh, did the log, we uh, programmed the PC and it works. The machine can do better than a human. What the point for a human uh, to do 15 times per day the same track? Uh, this vehicle, I mean, uh, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't go on strike. Everywhere in the world we know how to drop 200 people from train station, metro station or a, a, a parking place. But we don't know how to bring people from their house to the first collecting point of transport or from the last drop to their offices. And that's why people, as we are lazy and rich, we continue to pick up our car uh, to go downtown. Or, uh, and basically the, we, we think that Navia technology and its competitors are a solution for, uh, for, for this uh, first and last mile problem that uh, is not addressed yet by our public transport. Heathrow is, is all about innovating, particularly around customer service, which is why we're keen to showcase the autonomous technology, uh, just to really start the debate amongst the Heathrow community, um, where, you know, is this going to be helpful to achieve our goals around customer service and also sustainability. The reaction of the, the people at Heathrow is they have um, excited about this technology. Probably most of our customers haven't even thought that it might be used in, a, used in an airport. So I think it's very much the start of our journey and just starting the conversations.